Um, so what we're going to do is this system is going to be um, a pre-exhaust, okay. and the idea behind this system is just to pre-exhaust the bigger muscle in a, in a muscle chain, okay. um, and that's to ensure that all muscles are fatigued equally, if you like. All right. um, we've got different uh, different weights. Um, so the first exercise we're going to do a pre-exhaust is an isolated movement, so a single muscle group and a single joint, yep. followed by a compound movement, which is more than one muscle, more than one joint. The exercise that I pick for you is first off is side natural raise. Okay. Just add to the side using the, uh, just the uh, deltoids. And then immediately you're going to transition into a slightly heavier weight for your compound movement, shoulder press, and that's going to be the 10 kilos. Okay. Just to emphasize safe lifting, I know I'm going to do this on the seat because it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do it on the seat than standing. Um, but just to emphasize safe lifting, so make sure you stand up, pick the weight up, then sit down, yeah. and exactly the same with your next okay. weight as you come along. Just want to demonstrate these for you very briefly. Yeah, yeah, of course. So from here, and again that's safe lifting, your standing position, take a seat, and from here, weights down to the side, and just bring the weights up to an elbow, uh, shoulder height, elbow slightly soft, head facing front. Breathing out with the exertion on the way up. No point in going above shoulder height, as that brings in a different set of muscles. Okay. From there, transition into the bigger weight from standing position, safe lifting technique. And from there, just into your shoulder press, uh, starting from a nice right angle position of the elbows and push up just to a nice soft elbow, back down to just below 90 degrees and back again, keeping the wrists nice and strong, abs engaged, back nice and straight. Are you familiar with the exercise, Aaron? Yeah, I am actually both exercises. Are we pretty much okay to go without the warm ups? No, yeah, warm? no problem at all. Excellent. So we're going to go for between 10 to 12 repetitions. And you can start any time you're ready. Good strong position, elbows nice and soft, wrists nice and strong, nice strong abdominals, back nice and straight, breathing patterns excellent, really good timing, two seconds up, four seconds on the way back down, looking really good from where I am. You've got a tendency for a slight lordotic curve in the back, so just be aware of that, keep the abs nice under control. Looking good. And a nice fast transition to your next exercise. Ideally, you won't want these transitions any more than 10 seconds ish. Good. And blowing out on the way up, breathing in on the way down. I prefer a nice full range of movement. Looking good. Wrists nice and strong. Keeping good technique under fatigue. Fantastic. Last few reps in there. Nice under control. Excellent. And just stand up to safe lifting technique and bring those down to the floor. Aaron, how did you find that? How did you find that exercise? Yes. On that scale of 1 to 10 that we used earlier, whereabouts did you find that? I found both exercises, weights really, really good. Um, 10 reps in the first exercise, obviously. Yeah, a little bit of arching in the back, felt that. Managed to get back into position there. And by rep 6 in that second set, I was burning all over the shoulder. Fantastic, excellent. Anything you change? Um, no, no, happy with it all. Um, the only thing I might do is in, maybe if I went again and my back was still going, I might go back against the bench, but I'm more than happy. Fantastic. Just going to take uh, a one minute rest and then we'll straight back in. Alright. Um, good to see you again. So, the system we're going to be using today is going to be post exhaust, right? Um, which means that we're going to do a compound movement first, yep. followed by an isolation movement. Ooh. Kind of looks like the pre exhaust that we've done, but it's actually a little bit different. By using a post exhaust, it allows you to use a bigger weight on the compound yeah. movement, 
and then to further fatigue it by using the isolation movement once you complete the compound movement. Okay. So we've worked out the weights you're going to be using. Yep. We're going to be using the bench press followed by a bench fly. Yep. Um, I'm going to be spotting you, it's going to be uh, reiterating the safe spotting movement. Yep. Just to reiterate that, make sure you pick the dumbbells up from a standing position, safe lifting position. Yep. Bring them in close to your chest, up above your eye, then you can go into the fly movement, but I'll talk you through that once we actually get onto the fly movement itself. Okay. Minimal transition, <laughs> because this is a, an advanced method, so we're looking for kind of like a 10 second transition if we can get it. Obviously we're going to be leaping over the equipment to get there, but it won't be a timely fashion. Okay, I'm going to go around the back. If you want to set yourself up onto um, the bench, I know that you've moved uh, up, yep. and that you're familiar with this movement. So I'm going to place my hands on there, make sure you've got your bench pressing position, which is good for you. I'm going to use this power grip. Yep. I'm going to take it up and above um, your eyes to start with, yep. just to get it from the movement. Okay. So I'm going to grab it. Two, two, one, up. And your bar. Yep, yeah, that's my bar. That's good. And back, 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 my yep. bar. Excellent. Lower back onto the seat. Nice soft elbow. Breathe out and way up. Fantastic. And squeeze together. Really, really good. And push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Bring it close to your chest. Down. When you're ready, bring yourself up to a standing position. And just safely come down to the floor. Fantastic. How did that feel? That's just yeah, yeah, very tough, very tough. Um, felt confident that you had the spot on the first one and then going into the second one because I could feel you just not touching me but just guiding by my elbows. Um, I've got to say, my chest feels so tight and exhausted after that. It's not necessary to spot the client, but it's nice to give your client a little bit of support, do a little bit of rapport, just let them know you're there with them yeah. and help them through. These are the times, of course, because you're spotting, that you're not actually going to be walking around your client and giving loads and loads of teaching points because these are safety critical moves, so you need to be there for your client to make sure they're safe. That makes sense, yeah, that seems very logical.